everyone. Welcome back to Jersey Bird Homestead. If you're new here, welcome. So in today's episode of recipes from my grandmother, we're going to be doing brownies, which I'm super excited about. I have been doing some research this week because it's a brownie recipe that doesn't have any cocoa. It's just melted chocolate. So I'm going to be cross referencing another recipe from a little bit later from the 60s. But I'm so, I'm so excited. I've been learning so much from this series already. And uh, I just put the kids down. I just came out here to check on these guys really quick and give them some leftover blueberries. So let's get right into it. All right, so we're inside now. If you hear snoring in the background, it's literally my dog sleeping. They're very chill vibes in here right now. So let's start out with the detective work so here we are we're on the second recipe that's on the cover like i said earlier i have done some detective work this week and i have gone over this a little bit to the best of my ability and what i've come up with is that it says brownies up here and then maybe some of you can help me but i cannot for the life of me figure out what this word says so brownies and we're gonna do one quarter cup of butter i think <laughs> that's what i imagine One cup of sugar. Two. This is a tough one. I think it says SQ, which would to me mean squares. So two squares of chocolate. Two eggs. One cup of nuts. One, and this one got me good. So one dash, double dash flour. I think that means, I think it's indicating up. So basically saying also another cup. That's, that's my guess and I'm sticking with it. And then I believe this says one teaspoon of vanilla. And again, if you see any errors that I might have made, feel free to let me know in the comments because this is a learning pro process. And uh, yeah, so here's what I have. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we are, the double boiler. I just put a little bit of water in this pot and then just a, a regular glass bowl and put it on top. And here's the chocolate that I got. It's just whatever they had at Walmart at the time. It's nothing fancy. So what we're going to do is turn this on and I'm just simply going to put this in the bowl and wait for it to warm up. A lot of times nowadays they would recommend you put some sort of oil in with the chocolate to make it creamy to make it like extra creamy but this recipe did not specify that in fact in fact the only fat in the recipe is butter so i'm gonna try to stick to the guidelines here and uh only put the chocolate in there all right, I'll give you an update when it's all melted. Just wanted to give you an update. It is starting to melt. I did have the 
burner on medium. I did just turn it down a little bit because I don't want it to get too hot. And I'm using a silicone scraper because um, wooden spoons can harbor some, they can retain moisture and moisture is the enemy of this process. So we're doing good. So I wanted to also take the time to show you the recipe that I'm cross-referencing because I didn't know how much two squares of chocolate was, but luckily I have a another kind of, sort of old um, cookbook from the 60s. And they had a brownie recipe in there and they tell you exactly how much two squares of chocolate is. So let me get it. So here, you can see, so, focus. So yeah, you can see right there, it says two squares unsweetened chocolate, which is two ounces. So, um, the bar that I used, the Baker's chocolate from Walmart is four ounces, which is is okay because my plan is genuinely to eat this, and I uh, I really do try to keep this these recipes as accurate as I can, but I I just personally really like a chocolatey brownie, and I I am gonna be eating this so. <laughs> I hope you won't be mad. I added a little bit more chocolate than I was supposed to, but I just really like chocolate. So as you can see, it's it's really turning out good. So I'm gonna turn this off soon and let it cool down. I'll check up, up with you then. All right, so here comes the fun part, assembling everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this somewhat cooled chocolate to this bowl. And then I'm gonna stir in the sugar. And like every last bit of chocolate. <laughs> sugar. So that is one cup of sugar. And I am just kind of mixing the sugar in well because I want the sugar to additionally cool down that chocolate because I really don't want the chocolate to start picking my eggs that I'm going to add in next. Next, I'm gonna add in my butter, I think, actually. And get that in there. And then I'll do the eggs. So, this is my first time doing a brownie recipe without cocoa. So I'm very, very, very interested to see how this comes out. So far, it looks pretty good. I mean, it does have a whole bar of chocolate in it, so it's got that going for it. All right, now our eggs. Mix them in there. Back in with the silicone, silicone guy. 
add some vanilla now. Calls for one teaspoon. And next is the walnuts and flour. And then it's gonna be time to put it in a dish and go in the oven. I'm setting the oven to 350 degrees, and I'm guessing it's gonna probably take about 30 minutes. Although, I, like I said for the last recipes, I'll, I'll just have to keep checking because I'm not 100% sure. All right, so there's the one cup of flour. Alright, look how chocolatey that looks. And last last but not least, walnuts, baby. Your girl likes walnuts, so I was liberal with the walnuts. Okay. It's smelling good, y'all. It's smelling real, real good. Holy guacamole. All right, let's put this in a pan. All right, so we are back. I went with an eight by eight by two inch pan. And I did that because of the recipe that I referenced. It does say here, eight by eight by two inch pan. And Let's talk about some of the things that this recipe doesn't include before we put it in the oven because I do have some concerns. So this recipe doesn't include any baking powder and it doesn't include any salt. So that's kind of unusual for a brownie recipe, I think, for, for my experience, right? So let's go ahead and throw it in the oven. This recipe does say to bake for 30 to 35 minutes at 350, so I think our guess of a 350 degree oven is pretty good. So this is a Betty Crocker cookbook from the 60s. So let's do it. So here they are, or one of them is, out of the oven. It did take a little bit longer, but again, I have a I have an oven from the 70s, so recipes sometimes take a little bit longer to bake. So I baked them for about uh, 35 to 40 minutes. And uh, yeah, they came out with a really nice crunchy top and a really mushy, spongy inside, which I like a, I like a kind of... Um, squishy brownie anyway so <laughs> it, they came out really good they're delicious it's like a really genuine I mean literally it's it's just chocolate and uh they came out really good I'll definitely be making these again really good highly recommend you guys now they didn't rise much because remember they didn't have baking powder in them so, just keep that in mind, but I love them.